Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'm going to discuss inexpensive, creative young children's toy toys. There is so much commercialism in the world today, especially surrounding the concept of children's toys. Whether it comes from children's cartoons and movies, to peer pressure from the other children that inhabit their world. It would seem from everything that you're experiencing that fun children's choice can only come with a huge price tag that promotes some child's movie. This is nonsense! If you examine and think for a minute about the world of a young child, you would see that it revolves around learning how to live in the world around them. They explore and test things out with their mouths and hands. They are constantly finding out about how their world works. And the number one place that they watch is their parents. What are their parents doing in their day-to-day -day life? This is what fascinates kids the most and what they want to mimic. This is where the appeal of toys like cooking stoves and dishes, toy tools and so forth comes from. And these are fine ideas. But how much better and more meaningful for the child than if their parents spend some time and actually make them something that helps them to understand their world a little bit better. Now I'm a great believer in going to thrift stores and searching the stuffed animals areas. Very often you can find really wonderful stuffed animals that look like they're brand new and you can give them, get them for under a dollar. Young children love soft stuffed animals because it allows them to express emotions safely and very often will serve as a companion for the child that they take everywhere and sleep with at night. So a good soft stuffed animal is always a good choice. Now something that is cheap and super easy to construct that young children uh, from walking age up to about three years of age find lots of fun and totally fascinating is to blow up a balloon and attach it to a long string that is mounted via the thumbtack to the ceiling. The child bats the boo balloon and it flies away and they run after it and try to catch it and it is even more fun and if a parent plays this balloon game with them and if the balloon pops another one can be put in its place to continue the fun. This is, a, is about as cheap as you can get, as it only costs a bit of string, a thumbtack, and a balloon. Another interesting toy environment that you can build is to get a, sh a bed sheet from a th thrift store and cut it up into long two inch wide strips and mount these strips from the ceiling with either thumbtacks or staples from a construction stapler to create a forest that the child can play and explore, much like a forest of cloth strips. Mount the strips of cloth quite closely together so that you can't see much between each strip of material. You can create mazes or just hodgepodge patterns of your own design with a central clear space that, that the child can construct their own secret fort. You can use sheets of various different colors and can make the maze itself out of the colored sheets themselves. The child weaves its way through this cloth maze with friends having a complete blast. The co total cost would be a couple of thrift store sheets. The next idea is the large cardboard box. Cardboard boxes are simply the most fascinating toy construction material around. You can build a castle, a fort, a house, or anything imaginable for hours of fun in the construction of the cardboard masterpiece itself or in the coloring and decorating of the cardboard castle, dwellings, playhouse, spaceship, or whatever else strikes the child's fancy. The decoration of the cardboard masterpiece can be done with crayons, felt markers, colorful construction paper, or even pictures cut out of magazines. Tiny tables and chairs could be inhabited this cardboard fortress where the child could have tea parties with their stuffed animals or neighborhood friends could come by for tea in their castles. These types of childhood experiences are the ones that children remember for their whole lives. 
how much fun using their imagination could be and in how unique this was for them and how much does it cost a large cardboard box for free and some decorations the next idea introduces the child to rattles and musical instruments that it creates and decorates themselves paper mache rattles are first on the list and who plays a and who places a piñata is only for birthdays it can be any time now to make paper mache tear newspapers into strips that's free hint always make the last layer of mache with white computer paper or paper towel so that the painting is easier for the child it takes far less paint if you do this if you don't do this consider priming the project with white acrylic paint before you let the kids add it with the poster paint now to make paper mache pa paste there's a couple of different options that you can try number one you use three quarters white glue just Elmer's white glue to one quarter water or if using a good thick glue like Elmer's you can do half and half option two the cook method and this is one part flour to five parts water boil about three minutes and then let cool it's the cheapest and it's and it's nice and smooth to use this option three one part flour and one part water stir together the cooked works better but this is another option note in really humid areas it this does play a factor so if you live somewhere really humid add just a little bit less water okay now if you add a couple of tablespoons of salt to your flour paper mache paste it will not mold so that's a real thing to consider doing cover your project with no more than four layers of paper mache I always tell the kids two layers as they always overlap more than they should now let your project completely dry once again cover with no more than four layers continue this process until it's as solid as you want it to be now if you're making a pinata tie a loop of string to a paper clip tape the paper clip onto the frame of the pinata before you start macheing mache over the top of the paper clip make sure not to mache over the string loop tie the rope onto the loop to hang your pinata use a balloon to be your working base for the paper mache project if you're making a rattle then insert several beans or lentils to get a good sound before you blow the balloon up for a pinata you would use paper mache over a small box that you put some candy into or any form that strikes your fancy maybe two round plastic containers glued together or a round cylindrical cardboard oatmeal container the list is endless and so is the exterior decorations that you can make this is a wonderful and fun toy for young children and all it costs is what you use for the glue and newspaper and some paints pretty good the next item on our list is the toss game this can become a wonderful family heirloom you take a piece of quarter inch plywood four feet by two feet and cut a hole approximately size the size of a saucer in the middle you then paint the board with paint and then cover and then paint anything you like for example you could use a clown's face with the hole being the clown's mouth or a dinosaur's open mouth a bear's open mouth a lion's open mouth a huge fish's open mouth the list is endless and can reflect the child's individual taste once you have the board painted to your liking then you make four little bean bags for the child to toss the bean bags can be made out of an old pair of blue jeans filled with actual beans or lentils the bean bags should be small enough to easily fit through the hole in the board the game is played by determining the distance away from the board the younger the child the closer to the board the child stands to toss the bean bags every toss that lands in the hole gets 10 points the child gets four tries a turn the game ends when the count of 30 or 50 is reached by someone 
This is a very simple game to learn and teaches eye-hand coordination and is lots of fun for the child to play with. An adult. Now the cost of this project is the price of a quarter inch piece of plywood, two feet by four feet, and some paint. The blue jean material comes from some cast off pair of blue jeans and the beans are dried. Very little expense involved. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!